Yesterday we were talking about Mike Oliver. Now here's the thing, guys. All those ladies he was with, apparently, they probably knew this is not real. And, but it felt good. Getting the attention felt good. I someone called in yesterday, and I think guys need to pay attention to her. Mine, if you only knew what uh, these married ladies go through, you wouldn't victimize anyone. Akuna love kwa manyumba. Mwanaume akikuja during the wakati ya kulala unaambua aruruka na kuku. Nikiwe. There is no romance, there is nothing. Eh? Then akienda huko kwa Oliver ndio huyu ameromansiwa, ameonyeshwa love na although ni fake. Eh? Uno mtu amepitia mashida hata ajuagi fake. Eh? Ni kama uende upewe gold. Eh? Gold fake. Do you understand where she's coming from? Do you understand there's something you're not doing? Yoruka na kuzama. Vinduka. Do you understand where she's coming from? And I cannot believe this is 2020. We are, 2020 is almost over. And you still don't give your women attention. Niki. Ninini. Then you wonder why they look elsewhere. We need to be realistic, yeah? She's married, right? Let me tell you something what happens when you get married. You know? There's a courtship. And by the way, most men don't notice what you get married. You just find you got married. Unaulizwa, yeah, na bibi yako mugani hula umekaa na two months, three months. Ne mutoto anakuja na munaendelea na maisha inaendelea. The thing is, as you get married and you, as you stay in marriage 10, 15 years, kuna vitu maina as much as unataka kuona Alejandro na Maria. Eh? Zinaenda slowly, you know? Zinaisha. Eh, yeah, zinaisha because kuna kuna you see that's where you lose it, boy. Hakuna responsibility. Yeah? Na hapa ni Africa, you know? Na hapa ni Kenya. Na sahi as we speak Hile pressure wanaume wakono ni mingi sana kuliko hizo vitu za Cinderella. So what, what is she supposed to do? No, you tell me what she's supposed to do. You know she knows I was a stallion once upon a time, eh? Once upon a time. Yes. Is that, that's why you lose it, bro. That's why you guys are losing it. Yo, kitu attention na... is very important. No, mambo ya vipindi za TV. No, attention is... Why can't you get those it? Are, those are two very different things. Two very different things. Aki ladies, di kegwire mainyui. And the man is providing, he's responsible, she's not saying those things. Eh? Kazi ni kuangalia masinema za watu. There's a guy who called in yesterday, he said, there was a day he just texted his wife. Just texted her. And said, honey, I love you. Mm. And that just made her entire month. It's those things, bro. Do you know right now, okay, test, any man I can test uh, the wife, I love you. The first thing, ni, umefanya nini? Already ni makosa. Amo kuja na flowers. Kwa ni umefanya nini? Already you're a suspect. Ladies, anaona ile focus. Ladies, I want to ask you a question this mm. morning. Ha. Huh. How big of a problem is it? Uh, you need to get one. Ujione. <laughs> Why? <laughs> attention. When was the last time your man gave you some attention? The biggest attention is when a man is able to provide. Be responsible. Men here are working day and night. Eh? Can you hear the excuses, ladies? Hmm? We are working very hard. We are working day and night. 0711046105 is my number. Give me a call, Tafadhali. Have you ever seen your parents holding hands? Hey. <laughs> Hit me up on my fan page yeah? on Facebook or my Twitter handle at it's mine Kagenewa Classic 105 Kenya. Hashtag is mine and Kingangi. Or you can send me a voice note because I'd love to hear from you. You can drop me a voice note on my WhatsApp number. Uh, it's 0703 Our wives need to come down to earth. No. Do Kenyan women live in utopia? Yes, it's my shine. Really? 
Really? Really? Why don't you give me a call? Hi. Let's talk. Mine, if you only knew what uh, these married ladies go through, you wouldn't victimize anyone. Hakuna love kwa manyumba. Mwanaume akikuja during uh, wakati ya, ya kulala unaambua aruruka na kuku. Nikiwe. There is no romancing, there is nothing. Hmm? Then akienda huko kwa Oliver ndio huyu ameromansiwa, ameonyeshwa love na although ni fake. Eh? Unao mtu amepitia mashida hata ajuagi fake. Eh? Ni kama uende upewe gold. Eh? Gold fake. Why don't you give me a call? Let's chat. Are Kenyan women unrealistic? D ladies, do you believe you're being unrealistic? 0711046105 is my number. If you want to drop me a voice note, my WhatsApp number is 0703346105. So we are talking about this lady who called in yesterday. She had a valid point. Mine, if you only knew what uh, these married ladies go through. You wouldn't victimize anyone. Hakuna love kwa manyumba. Mwanaume akikuja during uh, wakati ya, ya kulala unaambua aruruka na kuku. Nikiwe. There is no romancing, there is nothing. Hmm? Then akienda huko kwa Oliver ndio huyu ameromansiwa, ameonyeshwa love na although ni fake. Eh? Unao mtu amepitia mashida hata ajuagi fake. Eh? Ni kama uende upewe gold. Eh? Gold fake. Wow. Do you see where she's coming from? Kanga Justin Kanga saying she's making it look like it's a kind of atomic engineering that we are clueless about. It's just making love. We've got other problems to solve. Lower your expectations, ladies. Hey, why should she lower her expectations? Sharon Shannon is saying, do you know from my observation, out of 10 Kenyan men, three are good or the best. Two are trying to be good. They're really trying their best. The remaining five, you, you don't wish they never existed, but to strike a balance, we round them off. Guy. Ven Moragi Paul Donio saying, it's true, our ladies need attention from us, but Western cultures influence them negatively. That which we used to give them was enough is no longer of value. They demand more. Sometimes you just can't give it. Hmm. Captain Kale, you said if all men were like Mike Oliver, busy cuddling her, our economy would be so far behind. Priorities change after marriage, my sisters. I've already scored a goal. I can't, I can't hug you. I'll run celebrating. Build your marriage. Guy. Victoria Irene is saying, women want to feel loved, respected, appreciated at all times. Unaelo, unaolewa after, sometimes he starts treating you like his sister, I'm a stranger. The spark is gone. Jine inakuanga wewe. Nani, ama witafta, ama nitaftie nguo. Hakuna romance. Amazing. Let me just go to your voice notes. Good morning, Maina. Trust you me. And truth be told, these men will only give you attention when they need favors. Ushesikia mwanaume amekuja, ako, ati babe, unaweza nichukulia loan ya 500,000 tutarudisha. Come on, tutarudisha. Mutarudisha wewe na nani. That is the only time the, the man will come home with a kg of meat, some two apples, and... <laughs> At least at a mapema. Can they up their game? Really? Okay. Can you up your game? Maina, good morning. Um, Sarimiye Kingangi. When you talk of attention, Maina, we actually do this. Eh? We give them attention. But then, Maina, if you don't appreciate what the effort we are putting in, we, in one way or the other, at some point, we start, we stop. Okay? But we don't stop because uh, we don't know how to do it. We know, but mine it is not appreciated. And when you keep doing something that is not appreciated, mine you stop. Now, what they say, they say our men are not giving us attention. 
So when they get something uh, for a moment or maybe a day or some hours, they, they might not take either, every advantage to uh, grab whatever it is there. Because at the end of the day, they say, si kwa nyumba. Si bado jione. We give them attention, but Bena, they don't appreciate. Wow. Thank you. Good day. A uh, good day to you too. We give them attention, but they don't appreciate it. Hello. Good morning to you. How is how is it going? Very fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Now. Eh. <laughs> two things na taka kuliza kengani yapo. Eh, hey, please, ako hapa muulize. Oye kengani. Ne. Ukipa na muzi leo and you don't water it. What happens? It dies. Ukienda leo na gari and you don't fuel it. What happens? Ina kuamia kwa barabara. <laughs> the same case applies to love. These fellows, our sisters, our lovers, you know, they are, they are our properties. Yes. You, know, you must create time for them. You must treat them in a romantic way. What do you say, Mambo in Africa? Mambo ya mapenzi ni kila siku, you try to revive it day in, day out. You have to make it slavery. And it is a responsibility of a man. <laughs> are you listening, Kegani? Yes, Mr. Romantic, I'm listening. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so, it is nothing else. Okay. Hmm. Do you understand where he's coming from? Hello? Good morning. Oh my God. Good morning. Good <laughs> 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 Are you sober? Ah, do you get the context? That is a desperado, a single divorced woman at the married women goes through. We have married women who are very happy. Muuliza kama yeye ameolewa ama alitupwa lakini asikuja kuingilia wanawake wetu saa zingine they know like it is the kaboni grow kaboni grow it's never like it's never so serious when you are married like that don't start war that you can't win tell those single women who are married na walitupwa wasoe maisha yao wakuje jogona wakuje kule kuingine lakini wasikuje kuingilia wale who are married it's never easy even losing it nowadays si anani hiyo hiyo kwanza makosa anasema sije tu anarudi na tumekula pesa ya shukuru viz okay yes so stop bringing war that you can never win and tell that woman to go back to the husband sije at this married women look you get the contact this married women bale ati eh kama atoke kuemoro be ka ka Okay. Are Kenyan women over demanding? Seriously. But so, gentlemen of this great republic of Kenya. Mine, if you only knew what uh, these married ladies go through. You didn't victimize anyone. Akuna love kwa manyumba. Mwanaume akikuja during uh, wakati ya, ya kulala unaambua aruruka na kuku. Nikiwe. There is no romancing, there is nothing. Eh? Then akienda huko kwa Oliver ndio huyu ameromansiwa, ameonyeshwa love na although ni fake. Eh? Uno mtu wamepitia mashida hata ajuagi fake eh? ni kama uende upewe gold eh? gold fake can you see where she's coming from that's a question i'm asking today captain Khan, let me just go to your tweets you're saying ati now you expect me to come kiss you caress you and touch you are you crazy time waits for no man such treats are for side chicks and girlfriends not wives style up women muache utoto guy Monique King is saying men have totally failed. Married men, they don't spend quality time with their wives. All they do is mistreat them in the name of, am I not providing for you? We are no longer their priority. The reason why many married women have boyfriends is that. 
That's a very important point, Monique. Captain Kale continues, a mature woman, a woman who knows what marriage entails, will shut her mouth and build her marriage. She'll turn in bed when the husband signals, it's time. See, lazima vopili, how we ngini na slay queens. Wamekosa muelekeo. Hey, guy. I mean, just go to your voice notes. Hi, my name is I Before to end on your debate, ningependa sana sana kujibu huyo mwanamke mufinye ya mesema juu ya meniuthi sana when your man come to bed na kuambie karuruka na kuhuku now what what is she trying to tell us that anambua karuruka na kuhuku does that tell you something maina because huyo obvious hana hamu na na mme wake kama angekuwa na hamu hangeambiwa geuka angekuwa na mtafuta i tend to to imagine uh, hawa wanawake I, i don't know sijui sitaki hata kuongea mingi sawa so, gashu kutoka redolet wow asante sana good morning maina salmi ya kingangi eh? These are the same same ladies who say who keep on saying that awakulangi awakulangi mapenzi so they want money all right so if they want money and uh, men were outside here running up and down looking for money you can see where the the Kenyan economy is heading huh? we are trying to look for money so that we can sustain our our, our marriages our families so kama awakuli mapenzi basi That's how we can we can we can live with them. <laughs> my God, Aki ladies, Ooh, wee, hello. Good morning. Morning, my dear. What are you doing? You can't even say that you are not going to have to sana. Yes, these men look for money. Like in here, pesa, who pele kwa kuhulevi. Akuna kitu ingine. These men squeeze in wakulisha kwa nyumba. Yeah. Yaki wa mulevi, amekula mira, amekula nini ni mulevi ata hajui kuperform mimi nilikuwa nimeolewa na yeye eh ai niliamua kuka peke yangu reason b eh maina mwanaume anakuja kwa nyumba eh hana hata nguvu amelewa unampea chakula eh anaingia na lala you can imagine na lala kama mtoto akiamka ndio huyo unaweza imagine mtu akikupa kamate na ni bwana wako Guy, can you imagine that thing? Then ukimkalisha chini unamuuliza what's wrong with you? Anasema ni kama hii sigara natumia na miraa inafanya ni kwa important nitarekebisha. Kwizi sijui na kaaje. Na huyo ni what what kind of a man unaweza ishi na yeye maina? Ni nini nilikutoa kwenu? Kulikuwa na kitanda, kulikuwa na chakula, kulikuwa na kila kitu. Then hapa hivi umeamua unalea watu ya wanaume they don't even provide na ukiangalia sana kwa wale watu wanasema nini kufunguliwe ni wa kikuyu kwa sababu pesa yao yote mostly wengi wao sikatai kuna wazuri lakini mostly wengi wao wamepotelea kwa madawa na pombe wanaheshimu pombe eh okay mimi nakwambia married women are going through hell na wanaume ukiangalia wako na side chiku uko nje ndio ndio wanajaribu kuonyesha love awajui there is that woman mwenye anaweza stand na wewe huyu saitika na kwa nawe kwa na do ukikosa do huyu saitika na kutupa na kuna yule mwanamke anakufulia nguo unaonekana presenta po kwa hiyo saitika ukitupa kwa saitika unarudi kwa mwanamke yule yule tu why can't you stand for her then ana stand na wewe juu hizo ndio mwanamke tu anaweza kuvumilia hata mamako sometimes wezi fukuzo uende kwake unaenda kwa bibi yako hmm? this man mimi eh hey, sijini sema nini lakini for now this man sana sana wa kikuyu wapunguze tu madawa na pombe yeah wachunge familia okay. mimi let me tell you one thing mimi hapa niko hello hey i can hear you my hear you na ile kazi nafanya ni askari nataka nikwambie tuko na mwanaume mmoja huku mwanaume ni mkali this kikuyu ladies ukuja hapo like daily hata kiwapiga wanarudi hapo unaona so siku moja i took time nikauliza mmoja nini mna 
natafuta anga huko na vile nyu upigwa usiku kwani na huyu hata ananga do ni kuwapiga tu na hata anakuanga mlevi akanyambia madam let me tell you one thing huyu mwanaume anakupiga lakini ile mapenzi anakupea ile love ile set anakuonyesha eh sijaiona hivyo afadhali anipige lakini nipate hiyo kitu yani hiyo kitu anakupea mpaka una feel yes mmepewa unaweza imagine this unmarried ladies wanawake wameolewa kwa waki kuyu hatu najua mabwana zetu wameishi hatu kwa pombe na mira hata waweza ni kitu mwina i was very disappointed in them paka nikanyamaza nikasema like siyezi uliza u mwanamuke kitu wacha ende ju kama amekuja akapata kenya alikuwa nataka mwina utamuambia nini ok amekueleza shida zake amekuambia hapa anapata kenya nataka despite anapigwa yes lakini anarudi hapo anarudi kwa nini akipewa love anasikia yes ok Thank you very much by God. <laughs> Nukarao. Uh, okay, what's going through your mind? Our uh, discussion though. Wow. What a morning, eh? What a morning. Hey. Eh, the last callers who did guys. Ooh, eh. Kikuyu men are happy arms. Kanga just in Kanga in Wakali now we need state protection more than ever. We are facing serious social extortions and physical exhaustion. <laughs> Really Kanga Victoria Irene is in the bottom line is love your woman the same way you loved her in the beginning of the relationship. He pesa unatafuta inapunguza mapenzi ama Peter Ayoma you're saying these women complaining that married women go through hell but what they're not telling you is that they are the hell itself. If you're there for them they complain. If you go to hustle they complain. What is wrong with a man taking alcohol? Ved Moragi Paul Dugo saying three things that ruin marriages of our ladies in this era. Number one, over demanding from money, now attention, from over expecting their men to act in ways they were never raised by. Number three, comparing relationships, their relationships with those of their friends. Incredible. Incredible. Captain Kali is saying there's a difference between kuwa romantic ya aman na kuwa romantic ya umama. Don't do things like going to the kitchen with her. That's impossible. <laughs> Monique in the scene where yaki married women go through hell. Where do you think most chicks nowadays are opting to join the rainbow nation? It's better to be with a fellow woman who treats you better than a man who sees you like garbage. Why God? Let me just go to your voice notes. Hi, morning Maina. What did Captain Khaled just say? At wana wake to watch utoto. Who doesn't want to be loved? Who, do, who doesn't want attention? Who doesn't want her man's attention? Who doesn't want? If you're not giving me that, and you can give your side chick all this attention, I also have a light to go and look for, for a man who will give me all this. And please don't complain. Please tell Captain Kale, see you, Toto. It's our nature. We were born like that. Wanawake tunapenda kupendwa. I need to feel that love from my man. If you don't give it and I go somewhere else and find another man giving me that love, I'll stick to that man. So see you, Toto. It's something that is inside us. See you, Toto. We are created like that. Namtupende, by fire, by force. Mukikosa. Good day. Wow. Good day. How the final word? Hello. Hello. Good morning. Morning to you. Yeah. I, I want to talk about these men who can't give rom romance to their women. Yes. I've dated this guy for three years. Yeah. I complained so much about his emotional uh, unavailability. Yeah. 
And uh, Oli kept saying that uh, we can't eat romance. Guy. Yes. So three years, this guy has never even afforded to pay for blood dry. For blood, blood dry. He has never done such a thing for me. So I'm even asking myself, for three years he has been busy working. Even if he saved us a shilling every day. A shilling every day for three years. Yeah. And gave me romance at the same time. Wouldn't I be happy? You'll be very happy. Very happy. So it has reached a point where I stopped asking. I just got tired. For three years, I only get kiss only when we're making love. If we're not making love, there's no kiss, there's no hugging. Guy. Yes. And if I complain, if I complain about it, it's a problem. That what? has been the life. And any time I try to raise an issue about how we are having our relationship, it's a war. It's a war. There's no one time he's going to listen to me. There's no one time he wants to, to listen to what I'm complaining about. He just dismisses everything I try to raise. Hey. So, yeah. So I, I, I want to beg men out there, if you have a woman that you really love, please show her love. It won't cost you anything. Sending a text, a random text in the day, I love you, honey, I miss you, is not going to make you poor. Yeah, that's true. Because if you convert that to the three years I've been in a relationship where somebody doesn't even save a shilling to give me, and yet he comes to tell me we're not going to eat romance, and I've not even received that money that he has been working for. What's the point? What is the most amount of money he ever gave you? Um, I think 200 shillings that I borrowed. <laughs> and, I promised, and I promised to pay back. Uh, two, then he said, no, 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 just keep. 200? 200 shillings that I borrowed. It's not that I didn't have money, I had the money. <laughs> I just borrowed and I told him I'm going to pay you back. So he said, oh, no, just keep it. 200? Yes, 200 shillings. And he has been busy working for us. And I've never gotten even a shilling. Like for the three years. If he saved a shilling for me every every day for the, for the last three years, I could have been so happy. So I didn't... Hello? Ah, what a guy? 200? Mangana Mary. 